Hey guys, it's Dan here from Fat Rank, and I'm just creating a very quick video today, which is a link audit video on this site, Booby, which is a uh, essentially a breast cancer, um, you know, awareness type of website and charity website. Um, so they sent over this site here, and I think it's a, a relatively new site, so obviously there's not going to be many links going to it or many pages set up right now. Uh, but we're just going to kind of run through the things that we feel like would be good to change or to improve on this website, really. Uh, so as you can see, here's the home page. You know, you've got a little bit of content down here regarding what they do. You've also got more explainer content on these drop-down tabs. You can actually see here, you know, um, who they are and, and what they're doing. Uh, and then there's obviously a tab here talking about preventing breast cancer. Um, so generally, there's a little bit of content on the website, but obviously there'll be many keywords that uh, will be relevant to this website that they're not ranking for, that potentially they could create different pages for, to uh, obviously to try and rank for. So we're more than happy to discuss that with you on an email or something along, that, along those lines to kind of, you know, work out the best ways to create different pages uh, to kind of pick up those keywords that you feel uh, might be relevant to your site and uh, get some extra views to your website as well. Uh, but based on the content we've got right now, we'll basically have a look at um, you know the link side of things and have a look at where we feel like it's lacking. Obviously, it is a newer site, so there's not going to be too much going to it. But if I head over here, this is going to show the uh, links actually going to the homepage itself. So as you can see, there's only one backlink from one referring domain, which essentially means that there's one link uh, going from one different type of website to your website. Um, and if we actually click on what that is, we can see that it is a preventbreastcancer.org.uk uh, link there. In fact, what I'll do is I'll go back and I'll actually click on backlinks. There we go. So we can see the specifics here. So it's a prevent breast cancer link. So it's obviously it's relevant to your guys' website. And it's linking out to booby.com, which is perfect. So that link is actually, um, you know, perfectly relevant. However, the link isn't perfect. I'm going to run through why we feel that link isn't perfect right now. Uh, so obviously it is, you know, relevant to your website, which is great. So the relevancy uh, side of things is there. But the quality of the link uh, kind of isn't good enough, and the reason being is because there's no links actually going to this do this domain itself. Uh, this is domains tab here shows zero, and what that means is that there's zero uh, referring domains going to this actual page itself. So our initial thing we'd suggest to do is obviously to power this link up, uh, because the more link that this power has, the more link, uh, the more power sorry that is going through to your website from that link. If that makes sense, it's kind of a big chain reaction. Um, so the first problem there is obviously you, the links that you currently got, or the link, sorry, that you currently got isn't uh, doesn't have enough quality to it. It's relevant, but it doesn't have enough quality. Uh, the other option, of course, is because you've only got one backlink to your website with one referring domain, this means that you probably don't have enough quantity of links either. You know, you need more links going to your homepage to show you that's your authority page. Generally, you want that to be your mainly linked page, and then obviously to your inner pages, uh, such as the ones down here, you know, the story of booby, etc., you want links going to them for relevancy too, to actually make um, to actually make your website relevant in those inner page level as well, because you want relevancy going to every single page of your website, really. Um, so a few things to discuss here. If I actually have a look at the key phrase, uh, prevent breast cancer. Um, I'm using this as an example of a keyword, um, essentially that you guys aren't ranking for currently. Potentially you could rank for with a few changes uh, in, in the near future. So as you can see, it's a keyword difficulty of 44. So this is actually quite a hard keyword to rank for, uh, typically. Uh, but like I said, you'll be able to create many different pages for different key phrases that are much easier to rank for. And you know, within a little while, you should be able to rank them uh, within the top 10 of Google very, very quickly and very, very easily with the right links and with the right content. Uh, but using prevent breast cancer as a key phrase in Google, as an example, if I head down here, as you can see, this is an example kind of of the top 10 results in Google of, uh, that show for the key phrase prevent breast cancer. Uh, so number one and two are a featured snippet and uh, places where people ask, and I'll use that, show that as an example here. So if I enter into Google, as you can see, there's the featured snippet. Um, so that's actually what's currently ranking number one. Um, but under that, the organic the organic rankings actually show. Uh, here we go, sorry, the organic rankings actually show that technically what's ranking number one in terms of organic is this website here. Uh, it's uh, obviously breast cancer pre prevention. It's very relevant to the key phrase. If you have a look over this tab here where it says backlinks and domains, you'll notice that even on this inner page itself, it's got 709 backlinks from 287 referring domains. Uh, so looking at that initially might seem quite daunting because you might be thinking, you know, I've got to spend all this money to, to rank for that key phrase. And you might be right with a key phrase like uh, prevent breast cancer. Right now, it might not be the time to be looking for those kind of keywords because they're very, very, uh, you know, competitive. And the people who are ranking for them tend to build a lot of backlinks to those inner pages. Um, but like I said, you can kind of get comparisons from other key phrases that are much easier to rank for and have a look and you'll notice most of the time that people have kind of, you know, uh, anywhere from kind of 5 to 10 usually backlinks from different domains to their website. 
And all it really takes for you then is to create an inner page that targets that keyword, and then obviously build backlinks to that inner page, and you should start ranking them fairly quickly. And I'm kind of just using this as an example of how we look for uh, how certain sites are ranking for certain key phrases and how we feel we can outrank them. Uh, so in your example here for your website, obviously you do have a page for prevent breast cancer. And uh, perhaps in the future, this could be something that you look to build some, uh, some, some links to to try and help, help improve it. But I'd say my, my main thing that I'd focus on right now is obviously, as I said earlier, it's improving how many backlinks are going to your homepage and making sure they're relevant and making sure they're powered up with more backlinks to themselves. Uh, because right now that, that authority doesn't really uh, carry out. I mean, if this this DR here is a, essentially it's a metric that shows um, how how it ranks from zero to 100 as a domain. And as you can see, currently it's at 0 0.8. And the reason why it's so low is simply because it's a new site and it doesn't have any you know relevant backlinks to it or many uh, powered up uh, backlinks going to the actual actual domain. So I feel like that's the first thing you should do. And then after that, we can obviously look at creating some new inner pages to these pages here. Uh, sorry, to the, to your website here. Uh, new inner pages that we can start ranking key phrases for and driving traffic to your site through your inner pages too and building links to them. Uh, so the main two things really are the links and the content with it being a new site that tends to be the case um, but obviously we can work you through uh, you can work through that with you guys and kind of discuss the best ways to deal with that in the future. So uh, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you guys later. Uh, one more thing I just wanted to mention actually as well uh, with this website is if I were to take the domain booby.co.uk and I just drop it in this tool here, which is a social signals checker. And it will show here that obviously this website, with it being new, uh, doesn't really have too many social signals from you know a variety of different places. It does have a lot of Facebook signals, which is great. But what you really want to be doing is kind of getting out there and sharing it through other platforms, such as Pinterest and LinkedIn down here, but other platforms as well, like Twitter, and kind of building that social following. Um, I'm not entirely sure whether you know you guys want to do that organically, because some people like building their own profiles and they like sharing it themselves. It looks like you guys have already started doing that with the Facebook, which is great. Uh, but you know, if you need any help with kind of the uh, social signals kind of, kind of things, we do have good contacts that can uh, help you with that and help you uh, build different social signals to different platforms, which can obviously help the uh, the website too. Because Google likes social signals. Google likes you know the things that I was discussing earlier with the content and the links, of course, and then the priority. But just to give it that bit of trust, it does enjoy you know seeing some social signals coming through to the website because it knows it's being shared throughout different platforms and it makes sense for them. So uh, just a final little thing for you guys to have a think on. And again, we can discuss this with you um, in, in more detail in the future.